Hello, and welcome to this TaxCalc training video. In this video, we'll be looking at the Company's House Forms module under Company Secretarial Services. We'll look at the types of form that can be created and submitted through the software. We'll go through filing a confirmation statement for a limited company, as well as some of the triggers and integrations within Practice Manager. Let's go into Companies House Forms and start working on a client. We'll work on this limited company, Cloud Adaptive Systems. You'll find a wide range of forms within Companies House Forms. Change of accounting reference date, change of registered office, appointment of directors, change of directors details. As well as that, there are terminations and giving notices of PSCs, etc. Almost all forms which can be submitted online can be done through the software. It can even file some forms which are not available online or through other software, like LLP incorporations. The range is expanding all the time. We haven't submitted a form for this company yet, so let's open a confirmation statement. These are important as they need to be submitted at least annually. With the software, everything is in one place, making that process easier. The form is already created, so we can open it. We come to an introduction screen and skip to the next step. It clarifies information such as the confirmation date. We know the form is due within 14 days of this date. Everything is built on the simple step workflow we've seen in other parts of the TaxCalc software. If something has changed this year, such as the statement of capital or shareholder information, we tick those boxes. When we click through, it is worth mentioning that if this is updated in Practice Manager, it will be pulled across and reflected in the form automatically. It doesn't include items we didn't tick. In this instance, we didn't tick to say the classification of the company had changed, so that's not affected. At this point, we'll refresh the shares. That comes in from Practice Manager. We'll need to make sure that the information in Practice Manager is kept up to date. To do so, open the client record in Practice Manager. Then go to the left-hand side to check the share capital and the allotment of shares. Once we confirm the information in Practice Manager is correct and the shares have been refreshed, we're all done. Check and Finish warns us that we need to submit an SHO1 to Companies House before this confirmation statement. When we're ready, we can print a copy of the confirmation statement from here. We see the usual tax calc options for locking, mail, save and print. Here we can file to Companies House, which is the electronic submission. It'll put in our business details and we can file it online. All very simple. To update client information, let's first find our client. Double click and go into the client record. We know the address has changed, so let's edit that. To create a new home address, type in the new address or select it from the address book and set it as the client's default address. Once that is updated, the software recognises that this person is a company director. Once we've finished and saved, the software tells us which forms need to be created based on the information provided and the triggers built into the system. We need to do the appointment of director, change of information. We'll create that form, go in, update the information, pull in the new details and carry on through. That's a quick introduction to Companies House Forms and the triggers. Many triggers apply automatically throughout the software, so look out for those. If you have any questions or want to find out more, please go to our knowledge base or contact our support team. To view other videos on the TaxCalc software, click the links above and below. Thank you.